Hey everyone, so I thought it would be really fun to wrap up 2018 by showcasing my most used curly hair products of the year. You have seen a lot of these before on my channel, but you know, I review products and a lot of the times you won't hear about them again just because I'm always trying to bring you new products that you may want to try out. So I thought it would be fun to revisit a lot of the things I have tried out and what I've stuck with and then also there are some products in here that I don't even think I've mentioned before that I kind of just reach for on a daily basis and just don't even think to mention or forget to mention so that is what we're going to be doing today as always don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you'd like to know when I upload so let's just go ahead and get started So of course I have to mention my Deep Curl Low Poo as well as the One Condition Original. These are absolute staples in my routine. You will always find this pair in my shower at all times. The Low Poo is great. It's a light lather shampoo. Do I even have to explain this? I feel like I've talked about them a million times before. Same with the conditioner. It's just a really great everyday hydrating conditioner. Absolutely love these. Just honestly one of my all-time favorite shampoos and conditioners. And then the ones that I've actually been using more recently and I've pretty much been using these ever since I got them. This is the Shea Moisture Green Coconut and Activated Charcoal Purifying and Hydrating Shampoo as well as the Purifying and Hydrating Light Conditioner. These have become staples in my routine as well and I've actually been reaching for these a lot more than I have the Diva Curl ones. These both contain charcoal so this has been really helping with my itchy scalp. It gives a really nice clean without stripping your hair and the conditioner really moisturizes without weighing it down. I will link my full review of this a line and a card above and I will do that for all of the products that I do have specific videos on you want to look at those in more depth because I have talked about them so I don't want to like bore a lot of you who've already seen me speak of these so this next shampoo and conditioner I don't think I've ever mentioned on my channel before but this is the we dot ultra nourishing cleansing oil shampoo and the ultra nourishing hydrating mask so we dot uh, at least this line it does contain silicones in this so I actually have been really liking this for when I straighten or heat style my hair the shampoo is incredibly hydrating it, it does contain oil as it states in the name so it's very rich and thick but it lathers really well and then this intense hydrating mask is seriously so good so I actually use this on my wedding day to wash my hair or the night before or whatever and I did want to mention it because I do get asked what products I like to use when I straighten my hair and these have been really great both a high-end and a drugstore option. The high-end has to be my Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture. Again, this is just such a staple for me. This is so incredibly rich and hydrating. It makes my hair so silky soft. I absolutely love, love, love this. Uh, and then for the drugstore option, I have to say the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom by Not Your Mother's is amazing and it's so inexpensive this again is a very rich mask very thick but it doesn't weigh my hair down and I really really enjoy this a lot so this is definitely a newer find for me but I did have to include it because I have been reaching for it quite frequently even if it's just as like an in shower really quick deep treatment I do like to use this because I feel kind of guilty using the diva curl for that purpose because it is so expensive so I like to use this one more when I know I have either overnight or at least like 30 40 minutes to leave this on my hair of course I think you're going to be able to guess my first one this is the diva curl super cream one of my favorite curl creams it just makes your hair feel so soft and it really smooths your hair it's just so amazing again I don't want to talk about this too much because I rave about this all the time although I don't use it a lot this time of year spring and summer it's in my hair every wash day and then another product you've heard me talk about quite a bit is the curl smith curl defining styling souffle this has a jelly like texture this is a really great one and done product 
or it can be layered over a cream to add a bit of hold without anything too heavy or sticky or that's going to make your hair crunchy. I do have a curly hair routine featuring these two products. So again, I will link that for you guys if you want to check it out. And then another one and done product that has really stayed with me throughout the year is the Mop Top Curly Hair Custard. This is kind of similar to the styling souffle in the results, but it creates much more of a cast on your hair, which you then have to scrunch out, but it leaves your hair shiny, really defined. This is something I reached for a ton during the warmer months, and I do have a full review on this as well. Another combo that I discovered this year that I absolutely love and I'm obsessed with is the Amica Curl Core line and this is the enhancing gel as well as the defining cream. This is probably one of my favorite creams right behind the Diva Curl Super Cream. It is very similar to me in its results. It is very creamy, leaves your hair very silky and soft and shiny and this gel is amazing as well. It's not too heavy. It does not leave my hair crunchy. It's it's definitely more of a lighter hold gel which I do prefer. It seems to have kind of split up my styling products seasonally so yeah these totally are amazing during the warmer months for me. I actually haven't tried them in the winter so I can't say that they're not good during this time of year. Okay so now I guess we'll get into the products that I have been using during the cooler months that I really like. So let's start off again with the Shea Moisture Green Coconut and Activated Charcoal Purifying and Hydrating in Shower Styler. This is so good because I've said this before but if you didn't see my video where I talked about how I changed my hair routine for the fall or cooler months, I touch on the fact that my hair does not get a lot of volume because there's really no moisture in the air. So uh, I find that my hair gets really easily weighed down. So this is great because it really gives me that hydration and that hint of styling product that I need, but you do rinse most of this out. So it gives me just enough without weighing my hair down. I think there's only been a handful of times that I haven't used this since I have purchased this product. And then, I mean, I guess this isn't really a styling product, but the whole Shea Moisture line that I've tried of the green coconut has made it into this video. This is a purifying and hydrating buildup blaster. I basically use this as a dry shampoo or to clarify or um, reduce any itchiness in my scalp. So I've actually been really excited about that whole line in general and have been using their products very, very frequently. I think it was around this time last year, maybe even longer ago, but I did a video on the Briogeo Curl Charisma line and I don't think I've really talked much about their products since, but I've really been enjoying the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino Plus Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. This is a lightweight gel. It's not very heavy or sticky. It doesn't leave your hair crunchy. And when I use this gel, I like to layer the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. This is basically like a leave-in conditioner with a little bit more moisture. This is another really nice combination that I don't think I've ever spoken about, but definitely gives a really nice lightweight hold and just just really pretty results. And then I just have two kind of miscellaneous products. The first one is this Whey Texturizing Hairspray. This is really great at giving your hair that bit of texture as it says in the name um, but it's also really great for volume so I'll use this at my roots um, just kind of all over and just like spray it throughout my hair the only thing is the smell is a little bit strong but it does give my hair that texture that I'm looking for especially when I kind of make my hair more into waves and that's what I've been doing with my hair lately because of my bangs you know they're not totally straight it's just kind of more of like an undone look but it's not my full curl pattern if that makes sense. I'm gonna do a video on how I style my hair. And then lastly we have the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. This is great as like a leave-in treatment overnight if I just want to nourish my hair. This is amazing for scrunching to break the cast in your hair. This is just great to add shine on like second day hair. My ends tend to get dry. It's just such a great product and a little bit goes a really really long way. There's over 15 organic oils in here. There's no silicones. It's really good for taming frizz and just adding shine. This is really the only hair oil that I've used and stuck with throughout this year and there's still quite a bit of product left in there. All right, those are my most used products of 2018. I want to know what yours are. Leave a comment down below letting me know which products have really stuck with you throughout this past year. Also, I just really want to thank you guys for being so amazing. You really make what I do here fun. You guys are so sweet and kind to me and each other and it just it just makes it an overall really, really nice experience. So thank you guys so much. You all really, really have brightened 
my year, you brighten my weeks, my days, and I hope you guys have an incredibly happy, healthy, and safe new year, and I will see you guys in 2019.